Thank you for participating in the Lachesis Research Project. This investigation seeks to understand how people use the computer, how it relates to human memory, and if computers can understand us. Participation and data collection from real-world situations are critical to helping us develop the best algorithms and software for the future. With your help, this research may reduce the number of pesky pop-ups, increase the ability of software to help you get your job done, and provide insight into the modern computer user. We will ask you to run our software for two to three days. This day-to-day -day use will allow us to gather information on how users interact with the computer. If it is possible, please run our software on two to three consecutive days. To begin, please download Lachesis from this web page. There are two versions of the software, one for Leopard 10.5 and one for Snow Leopard 10.6. If you are confused as to which operating system you are running, please click the Apple in the top left-hand corner of the screen, and then on About This Mac. You will see the version of your operating system in the center of this window. Please ensure that you download the corresponding application for your operating system version. When the file downloads, a window will appear. You will notice that there is a Lachesis folder and a shortcut to your applications folder in this window. Drag the Lachesis folder to your applications folder following the arrow. This will copy the software to your computer. At this point, you may close the folder as well as your web browser. If you navigate to the Applications directory, you will notice that Lachesis is now present. Inside of it, there are three main applications. Lachesis Logger, Lachesis Debriefer, and Lachesis Cleaner. On the first full day of your participation, please launch Lachesis Logger. Lachesis Logger will record how you interact with your computer throughout the day. Do not worry. No personal information such as websites, file names, window names, or screenshots will be captured. We will rather be logging things like window position, CPU consumption, and mouse position. A task prompt will appear periodically throughout the day at random time intervals. Please type in what you consider the current task or activity you are performing. After typing it in, press OK with your mouse or press the Enter button. The last task you entered will be auto-filled in for you. Should you be continuing that last activity, just press Enter and resume your work. The task or goal could be a single word or a short phrase. Whatever you need to help you recall what you are doing at this point in time. While the prompt may come up at inopportune times, that may be some of the best data for us to gather. Understanding these situations can help us develop new and much more intelligent software. However, should you need to quit Lachesis, you may click on its icon in the top of the screen. There is also the option to open the log folder should you wish to see what information is recorded during your participation in the Lachesis Research Project. All information is stored in plain text. Lachesis Logger will automatically launch every time you reboot your computer. However, if you close the logger or it closes down on its own, please relaunch it from your Applications menu. At the end of each day, please launch Lachesis Debriefer. This will take you through a random sampling of tasks that you noted throughout the past day. Please select the day that you wish to debrief from, from the choices provided. Lachesis will then apply an algorithm to your data in an attempt to understand your activities from the past 24 hours. This analysis may take from 5 to 30 minutes, depending on your activity from the past day. When Lachesis Debriefer has finished analyzing your data, you will notice a debrief screen, as shown here. For each task you must debrief, you will see the date that the activity occurred, your description of the past activity, and a visualization of the past day. This visualization represents how important each application was to you throughout the day, as determined by our algorithm. Each application is associated with a color, as highlighted in the legend below the graph. There are three styles of visualizations you will see. The line graph, where each application is shown as a line, and their height represents how important the application was to you at a given point in time. 
Notice this green area here, which represents the application Eclipse. You can see how important it is compared to Finder, which was represented by blue at the bottom of the graph. The second style of visualization is a stacked area chart, where the thickness of each line represents how important the application is. Consider this area, where Eclipse is very important, and right next to it, the application Mail becomes important while Eclipse becomes significantly smaller. The last style of visualization is a stream graph, where once again the thickness of each area represents how important the applications are. However, this time they are centered around a center axis. As you can see here, purple, which is text edit, has become slightly more important, which then fades into becoming less important as Safari, the orange swatch, becomes larger. To allow you to browse the visualization more easily, we provide a zooming slider on the left-hand side of the visualization and a position slider on the bottom of the visualization. For each task, your goal is to try to identify where on the visualization the specific activity that's mentioned occurred. You can do this by clicking on the visualization after zooming and scrolling to find its location. You can change the position of your selection at any point in time. When you are satisfied with your selected time, please click the Accept button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. A Kesis Debriefer will follow up each selection with a short answer question, asking you to describe why you chose this location. Your response can be as short or as long as you feel it's necessary. To help us further refine our algorithms, a Kesis Debriefer will present you with other activities that it feels may or may not be related to the activity you had defined in the visualization. Please indicate whether each activity mentioned does or does not relate to or is the same as the activity you needed to find in the visualization. In addition, Lachesis Debriefer will also show you a series of other locations on your visualization and ask you whether or not they visually match the type of activity that was specified in the prompt. Please indicate either yes or no on whether or not they visually appear as though that activity could be taking place at that point in time. Please answer each question to the best of your ability. At the end of your study participation, please run the final app, Lachesis Cleaner. This application will remove all traces of Lachesis and data related to the Lachesis project from your computer, and it will submit your results back to researchers. Follow the in-app instructions to make a zip file of your data by pressing the first button. When you have finished making the zip file of your log data, please click the second button to submit your results. By pressing the second button, your web browser will launch and be directed to the online submission page at the University of Illinois. Please fill in your user ID as well as your email address if you would like to receive a confirmation when your results have been uploaded to our server. When you have finished uploading your results via our web page, please click the last and third button to delete all the log files from your computer. This will not harm any other files on your system but simply remove any data stored by the Lachesis software. When you have removed all Lachesis data from your computer, the last step is to actually remove the software itself. Please quit Lachesis Cleaner and then navigate a finder window to your applications folder. Locate the Lachesis directory and drag it from your applications folder to your trash. As soon as you empty your trash, that has removed all data and applications from the Lachesis Research Project. For any additional information or concerns regarding the Lachesis Research Project, please contact Joshua Helper at the email address found at the bottom of this page. Once again, thank you very much for your participation in this research project.